look what just came in the mail. This is the Divum Pixu Max. They have another Divum Pixu which is a smaller version of this. That is only 16 by 16 pixels in resolution. This one is 32 by 32 pixels in resolution. And all I can tell you is this package is not lightweight. So let's take a look at what's inside. On the box here, what we can see is that the Pixel Max is a customizable pixel art signboard which is just actually exactly what it says it is because there's no Bluetooth speaker like the Divum Pixel... No, 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 the Divum D2 that we took a look not too long ago. I'll link it at the top right corner there. That one is a Bluetooth speaker plus a little tiny TV thing. Yeah, that, that's a special product but this one is just an LED signboard. Pixel Max, and oh, this is the Pixel Max. It's surprisingly big and also heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at this later. But now let's proceed with the unboxing. We also have some stickers here, some pixel art stickers, which is real nice if you want to stick it wherever you want. Or if you want to recreate any of these stickers on the Pixel Max, you can. And in the accessories box, we have this little thing <laughs> and also a USB Type-C cable is it? should be yep, a braided Type-C cable which is really nice and also metal capped and now we'll take this piece of thing and stab it behind the Divum Pixel Max because this is actually a tripod stand Technically, it is some sort of like a photo frame stand that you can detach and you can attach it back then you can put it on the table or something like this. If you want to hang this on the wall, you can because there's this little screw holder. And then there's also another USB Type-C port at the bottom here to charge the Pixu Max. And this is the one thing that I realized that you need to use their cable because this, this thing this width here of the USB Type-C header is kind of selective so if you're using some wider cables then you can't fit into this little gap here Whoop. there you go this is the Pixel Max the first time I turned this on yeah actually I cheated I turned this on earlier uh, I turned it on in my bedroom which was really dark and then I kind of blinded myself because this thing is really bright. Currently, I think the brightness is not at 100% and you can also toggle between modes by just tapping on the power button. No, no, not the power button. Power button shows you the battery level. You need to toggle the, the second button. Then you can cycle through. This is solid color. Uh, not sure what's this get the idea this is something that i've added from the divum d2 into the pixel max as you can see here the game boy is still here yoshi is also still here and i've already connected it to the divum app it is just a bit different when it comes to how the pixel art is shown because of the higher resolution let's just say if i want to show bowser because previously i downloaded one that's this one uh the resolution wasn't that high on the D2 so it kind of appears like a blotch of colors but this one is more distinct you can actually see that it's actually Bowser walking towards you and I've also downloaded a few let's just go on with this thing bouncing DVD logo because why not and then Duck Hunt Duck Hunt Bird Duck Hunt Dog they're both really high resolution here and it's just very crisp you can also download a lot more like uh, let's just say Rick and then Bendy in the Ink Machine You get the idea And then what else you have here is actually kind of surprising These are, I'm not sure if these are present in the Divum D2 but now you can also edit your own, let's just say text This is actually present on the D2 And then you also have, uh, what is this again? games because this one if you play game you need to use your phone to control it you still have a bunch of different games to select from let's just say uh, tetris 
One crucial feature that's missing on this thing here is the speaker feature. So if you're coming from the Devoom D2, then even though you still have the music tab here, you can listen to a lot of music radio channels and it will be played on your phone and not on the Devoom Pixu Max. So you gotta keep that in mind. And in terms of features, you can go into the LED settings menu through the Devoom app, then adjust the light intensity. This is the maximum intensity. Just now it was just about 5%, which actually looks good because we initially we hang it up on the wall behind there as a clock and then you can also set it to auto power off in 30 minutes or so. The shake shake to adjust brightness, it does work but uh, yeah, not sure if you use it. On the box here, it says you can use on the car itself and you do have two little tripod screw kind of thing on the top and the bottom and then you can attach it to the rear of your car and then you can show any driver some friendly message yeah it kind of depends on how you want it to be but i wouldn't advise you to do that because this thing is kind of big and it will obstruct your your view if you are ever using the rear view mirror to do reverse parking or just look at cars from behind so far we've tried uh never actually charged this thing more than once Battery life is real good because we never turn it on for a really long time anyway. We set it to power saving mode and also to auto power off in 30 minutes. So the Devoom Pixel Max, I think this is a real nice gift if you want to give someone for this Christmas because let's face it, I don't think we can even celebrate Christmas physically. So just get their address, buy this and ship it to them instead and then they can put it up on their room or something like this. This is actually a really good bedside display for time, weather, temperature, all of those stuff. And um, for the price, well, it's 150 on Devoom's website, 150 US dollars. And I think they're having Christmas sales right now because I can see that it's only like 80 USD right now. So if you really want to give someone something really special, this is certainly unique. And it's also highly customizable. You can put whatever text you want. You can draw whatever pixel art you want at the same time. And it's just really versatile. Yeah, I think that's all we have to say about this Devoom Pixel Max. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. And now I will hang this on the wall as our office clock.